Hey guys and welcome to another Battlefront 2 guide. In this video I am taking a look at the LAAT gunship. The LAAT or Low Altitude Assault Transport was used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars to provide covering fire and transport clones and Jedi across the battlefield. In Battlefront 2 the LAAT can be controlled by spending battle points which you can earn by playing the objective and getting kills. Like the U-Wing in Battlefront 2015 the LAAT is on rails, meaning that its movement cannot be controlled. And I find this unfortunate, but I'm not as upset about it as other people are. I mean, since no other vehicles in the game are going to have multiple players inside of them, you kind of have to put the LAAT and the U-Wing on rails. Otherwise, it'd be very difficult and weird to play a transport. Because it's a transport. So you can't really fly it around like another fighter. So I feel like this was the only option they have and I understand it and I hope that it is just easier and better to play and will maybe make people happier in the full game. When you spend your battle points on the LAAT you are placed into its main bubble turret on the side of the ship. I found the laser on the bubble turret to be a little bit underpowered and you kind of had to hit an enemy directly on them in order to do any damage at all. Uh, the main gun was useful for attacking the, M the MTT if the clones made it vulnerable by shooting it with an ion disruptor. But I feel like this gun needs to do more damage and maybe needs a splash effect because unless you hit a droid, and the droid's really small, unless you hit a droid head on, right dead on with a laser, you wouldn't do any damage at all. So I feel like it needs to be buffed. Maybe just a bigger laser in general. But we'll just have to see what they do for that in the full game. Now the LAAT like most things in Star Wars Battlefront at this point, has three abilities. The first is Repair. When activated, this initiates the ship's maintenance systems, increasing its whole integrity, healing you, and allowing you to take less damage for a short time. The next is Missile Guidance Disruptor. This prevents enemies on the ground or in the air from locking onto you. It also helps you lose any missiles that are chasing you, so useful when you're being attacked by any droid air vehicles. And the last ability is Heat Sink. This prevents the primary weapon from overheating. So this is useful when you're attacking the MTT or an AAT on the ground. You can activate this ability and your bubble turret will not overheat so you can just fire until you kill the person. I hope that the LAAT is buffed in the full game and I feel like a map like Kashyyyk, the LAAT will do its best considering the open battlefield because Naboo was really tight and confined and it was a city so you kind of had to aim in the open streets like the main the main street of Naboo in order to really hit anyone so I feel like the buildings maybe hindered the LAAT's usefulness but maybe in Kashyyyk it'll be a little more open and maybe no, uh, um, Kamino it'll be a little more open so it might be a little more effective but anyway that will do it for today's video if you enjoy the video please leave a like comment and subscribe it is greatly appreciated and I will see you guys in the next video until then may the force be with you